Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. Apparently, I am homesick because I am cooking another dish that is what my mom cooked all the time when we were little, and it's super delicious. When I was little, I was super skinny and tiny. So whenever my mom wants us to eat more, she will cook this dish, and I'll eat four bowls of rice. And this dish is braised fish with tofu. And this is actually a very common dish in Taiwan, but I do have a couple pit bowl that I can share with you. And be warned that this fish has a head on it. And the truth is, you need to get over it because I don't care which restaurant you go to, the Michelin three stars or ten stars, the fish that they serve you always had a head on it. Okay, I did struggle a little bit whether or not I should use a whole fish for this dish because I really don't want to freak some people out. But I want to stay true to. Our Taiwanese culture and be authentic, because growing up, we always eat a whole fish, a fish with a head on. Why? Because you know the fish sacrifices its life. Why do we want to waste any part of its, you know, nutrients and protein, right? And we also know that the color, the jello meat of the fish, is super tender and flavorful. So why waste it? Now, before we get started, please like this video and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn that little bell on so you will get notified whenever we have new video coming out. Okay, let's get started. Really simple ingredients here. Uh, the green onions and ginger. These two are standard for almost all the Chinese seafood recipes. And garlic. And I do have a special way to prepare the garlic. Some rock sugar and the tilapia fish, which is easy to find in the U.S. And if you can, I will say for seafood, you always go for the fresh and the live seafood. Tofu, as you can see, I already soak it in the salted water. And this way, the tofu will not break apart easily, and also will absorb the flavor better when you're cooking it. Because this dish is not gonna be cooked for a long time, so we want to do that so the tofu can absorb the flavor better. And soy sauce, as you know, braising again, soy sauce is important. So if you want to know where you can get the same soy sauce that I use, I'll include the link below. And Taiwanese rice wine with no salt in there. Uh, if you can't find this kind, you can go ahead and use some Japanese dry sake and some oil, and that's it. So I got the live tilapia from the supermarket, and I did have them clean out the inside for me. But we still have to do some cleaning before we can cook it. You need a good pair of scissors and a good brush. Okay, so first I am going to cut off. The fan, because we are going to fry it a little bit, and you don't want the fin to go like out, ugly, and we don't eat them anyways. Okay, now the most important thing is inside. Sometimes they didn't cut it all the way open for you. You want to cut it open. Why? Because if you think sometimes the fish has a, like a fishy taste to it, it's because you didn't clean it well inside here. There's blood in the bones, in the spine. If you can see, can you see here? We want to brush it. So you want to cut it open, and then you want to brush that away and rinse away. And also here, there's like two line here that tendon. You want to cut it off because inside sometimes traps some uh, blood as well. And now cold water, and you just brush it away. Now you see the blood is almost gone. Now our fish is clean and will be delicious. Look how clean! Now the fish is cleaned. Let's get the rest of the ingredients ready. So first, we're gonna need green onions. You don't need fancy cut; just kind of cut in half. And I like to cutting lengthwise so inside the flavor can come out to enhance the uh, flavor and infuse the oil better. 
So I cut it like this, and you just need a few slices of ginger. All right. Garlic, you need about six cloves of it, peeled. We're gonna put in about three tablespoons of oil, and then turn the heat up. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna fry the garlic. So while the oil is still not super hot, we're going to put it in. We want to make it golden brown and then take it out and then put it back in when we're going to stew the fish. So with medium heat, we want to fry the garlic, but we don't want to use too much oil. So it depends on the shape of your pots or pans. You might want to kind of move it around so that the garlic can submerge mostly in the oil. Okay, like this, the garlic is ready. We're gonna take it out. Why do we do it? Because we wanna quickly deep fry the garlic so the outside has this deep fried garlic flavor because as you know, garlic powder, raw garlic, or roasted garlic, or fried garlic, they all have different kinds of uh, flavor profile. So this way we created the outside the deep fried garlic flavor and also infused the whole oil with garlic flavor. But then when we're cooking it, that raw garlic flavor can get in the sauce too. So this way you get depth and depth of flavor profile to the sauce. And that's why I'll eat four bowls of rice. Now we're gonna turn the heat back on and we're gonna put in ginger. Quickly infuse the oil. Let it frequent out. And then we're gonna put in the green onion. Saute both of them for about a minute, just infuse the oil. Now I'm gonna make room in the center because I'm gonna put our fish in. Give it a minute. Wanna make sure all the surface touch the oil. Then we're gonna Flip it. Give it about 30 seconds or so. And then we're gonna put in the rice wine. And then we're gonna put in water, soy sauce, the fried garlic, and the rock sugar. Let all the ingredients, seasoning, kind of incorporate a little bit, and then we're gonna taste it. Oh. Good. Now it's simmering, we're gonna turn the heat to medium, and then we're gonna cut our tofu and put it in. I choose the medium firm. You can choose firm or soft. It's all personal preference. And I like it to be big chunk, and I'm just gonna put it in. Just put it around the side. And then we're gonna cover it. Let it simmer for about 15 minutes, and we're done. It's time. I love braising stuff because the house smells so good, but it's a torture because that 15 minutes, you just get hungry and hungry and hungry, okay? Let's open it up and take a look. Wow. And for presentation, we take out these gingers and green onions that's, you know, cooked for a long time because they don't look pretty. Let's dig in. Mm. The tofu is super flavorful, even for just 15 minutes of cooking time. Because we did pre-soak it in the salted water, so it helped to absorb flavor in a shorter period of time. And the reason we chose tilapia for this dish is because it's a very forgiving fish when it comes to cooking. Normally, we don't want to cook fish more than 8 to 10 minutes maximum. And because we're braising it, we need about 15 to 20 minutes for the flavor to go into all the ingredients, especially the tofu. And tilapia allows us to overcook it a little bit without compromising the texture of the meat and the flavor. That's why tilapia is the perfect fish for this dish. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like the video or the recipe, please remember to like and subscribe and turn on the little bell for notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.